What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nee Goose. So I recently covered the perk Dissolution on the Hag, and there are a couple other teachable perks that the Dredge has that I wanted to try on her. In this video, I'm going to be using the perk called Septic Touch. What it does is if a survivor performs a healing action within your tear radius, they're going to suffer from the blindness and exhausted status effect. And if you interrupt their healing by any means, this effect is going to linger for 10 seconds. So if you catch a survivor healing with a med kit, that survivor is going to be exhausted, so they won't be able to sprint burst, use balance landing dead hard and the list goes on if you hate seeing exhaustion perks this perk is gonna kind of decrease the amount of times you see it in your match keep in mind this perk only works on the survivor that is performing the healing action so say for example if a teammate is healing another teammate only the teammate performing the healing action on the survivor is gonna be exhausted okay i really wish it applied to both of them but sadly it doesn't this perk works better best if you catch survivors healing on their own so if they're healing with a med kit or if they're healing in a boon you can get some pretty good value with it some perks that synergize well with septic touch are monitor and abuse so you pretty much have a smaller tear radius so you could sneak up on survivors when they're healing and nurse is calling so you pretty much get to see if survivors are healing nearby and head over there intercept their healing and possibly get a one shot down on them all right so my opinion on the perk i think it's pretty decent overall it's nothing crazy but i'll say it's definitely more of a consistent perk when compared to dissolution um i got a couple matches using this perk i hope you guys enjoy let's get into the gameplay we are on the midwich elementary school with the granny oh man we got a good map guys especially for this build so like nurse is calling i think is gonna be pretty good on this map because this map is quite small um and guys feel free to drop the franklin's demise for a monitor because i think monitor with this septic touch build and nurse is calling is gonna put in a lot of work but you guys already know i love my franklin's on the hag Ready. We need to get some more traps down. I'm not gonna chase the fang, she could go. You're not the only one who could moonwalk, you know. I got the moose too. Up you go. Someone burned my trap. Okay. So we know that Nea has a flashlight. I'll deal with her later. Did this girl really... Wow, this girl really picked up back her medkit. You're hella greedy, bro. So we know she has dead hard. That's good to know. Let's get you up. Yeah, that flashlight's gonna be a problem. Need to get rid of it. Nice. And this is the cost this team is gonna have to pay for being injured. If they don't heal up, they're going to be going down in one shot if they trigger a trap. Let's 
see someone healing over there. We know she has dead art, so she's afflicted with uh, septic touch. Let's trap her here. And then I'm going to vault. Now she's screwed. She is screwed. Yeah. That's some good value. Didn't really have to see that dead heart. They're healing up here. Good to know. Ah, they healed in time. If you could have intercepted that, that would have been huge. The, f <laughs> the Fang killed herself on hook. Wow, bro. Yeah, Fang is killing herself on hook as well. They are not too happy, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna trap here so she can't leave the room. Bro, I was waiting for dead hard. I legit was waiting for dead hard. That's why I didn't insta swing there. I was assuming she had it. What the hell? Up you go. I hear crying. This girl's hiding in a bush, bro. Luckily, I had my headset up. I'm like, yo, I hear someone crying over here. She gave up. She knows. <laughs> sure who the real Moonwalker is. We are on the eerie of crows with the granny. Oh man. We got the granny's castle here, guys. I'm gonna have to trap it up. Someone's here already. Yo, I don't understand the spawns on big maps. Why do survivors spawn close to you sometimes? I'm not gonna hard commit to the Cheryl. Like, while I was chasing her there, I was just putting traps down. I don't know if she saw my trap at the generator. She probably did. That's why she took that way. There's a boon. Boy, that was way off. She votes the window, though. We get a hit. Nice. And she has a flashlight, too. So let's trap it. Gens are flying like crazy, bro. Okay, there's a boon. And since she just healed, she was exhausted, so... Maybe... I don't know. She tried to jump off there, so I'm assuming she had balanced landing. But she couldn't use it because of septic. I'm not too sure. Someone just picked up the flashlight and seen that. Damn. Someone burned my trap. 
So there are two flashlights. This is not good. Someone's going in the basement. Let's retrap up here. Good. We have our flashlight on the ground. So it's going to deplete a little bit in the basement. I hear someone healing. So all that healing she did went back to zero pretty much because of Sloppy Butcher. So she's going to have to take a long time to heal up again. Dead hard. She's still... Yeah, this girl's still healing. David's healing over there as well. Yeah, I have to get rid of this boon, bro. Okay, now that David can't heal anymore. Nice. Where the hell did this? Bro, that was well timed. This girl came down at like the right time here. No borrowed time though. Uh, I'm gonna risk the pickup. If she doesn't have DS. Nice. We get her out of the game. This is actually huge. Not gonna play fair on this map. Hello? How did. What? Oh, okay, so it's Unbreakable Soul Guard. Right when I was about to pick her up, it showed the pickup animation a bit, and then. Okay. She's gonna point at me too. Alright. Damn, I could have kept that basement pressure going, though. Up you go. Get some more traps around the main building. We do have a decent 3 gen here, honestly. This 3 gen could work. Yeah, man, I'm liking this hook back here, honestly. It requires him to, like, go through a lot of traps. And what's good is, like, I could watch all these gens as well, because they're pretty close together. It's a pretty good 3 gen, man. Okay, someone's back there. Someone's here. So they're coming from the left and the right. Yeah, I'm not chasing you. Where's the other girl? There you are. Good. Oh man, he had the right amount of distance here to dodge a trap. Okay, let's pick up the Cheryl. Up you go. Give her a slap for that pointing earlier. Return you the favor. Okay, David's too far to commit to him. I'm gonna have to reset traps again. He's healing, okay. 
Um, that cape might be going for the unhook. Yeah, there it is. Pretty sure she's seen that trap on the right. David's still healing. Let's see if we could um, catch him here. He is exhausted, so he can't dead hard. Nice. Let me know where the boon is as well. Let's get rid of that. The traps are so visible in the sand, bro. It's crazy. Okay, okay. I want to start hooking back here because I haven't checked my 3 gen yet in a while. Damn, they got it. Yeah. David's healing over there. Damn! I thought I could sneak up on him there, but he reacted fast enough. That sucks. I'm probably going to have to drop him, to be honest. Yeah, let's go back. Dead hard. K has borrowed time. What's good is that this hook is right beside the gen. But the issue is the other two gens on the other side, which is, yeah, they're pretty far from me. But we do have a, we have some traps over there, so I guess it's okay. Hello, David. Okay, nice. So yeah, David is on death hook. Cheryl probably has DS, so I'm gonna have to find a Kate. She's probably on the gens back there. Cause I haven't checked those gens in a while, so I'm just gonna break this and head over there right now. There she is. Nice. GG's.